Good news everyone, Sunday stream will be happening. That is the public multiplayer game that was cancelled this week, but it's now no longer cancelled. And I'm also going to be in the Gideon outfit, and I'm going to be doing a giveaway, and my lady friend may appear at some points as well. Just wanted to throw that out there. Sunday, 7pm English time, multiplayer game, Sunday. <laughs> But today, of course, we're on Hearts of Iron 4, and there are many of these what if blah 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 won World War 1. And I saw one that took me fancy, shall we say. What if Jeb Bush won World War 1? Also, my last video seemed to trigger a lot of you because I lost, but you, you also get triggered when I win, so I don't really know how to please you all anymore. Either you enjoy me losing, or you don't. Uh, what? But anyway, I think we can all agree that we want Jeb to be a success. This will be my third episode in my series of Jeb, and who doesn't love Jeb? Oh wait, what? Okay. Well, Jeb controls everything. Jeb commying out? Oh no. Oh, what is this? What is this? This focus tree is, uh, interesting, shall we say. But I guess we'll get some political power. I imagine the aim for this would just be for Jeb. Oh, he looks so happy, Mr. Jeb, to go on a warpath. Oh, I can only have one division template called the Jeb Loyalists, which is great. And I start off with 71 factories, which is amazing. Only two research slots, though. I think that's a bit low for Jeb, wouldn't you agree? Guess I'll get artillery, seeing as my division templates... They contain artillery. And we'll see if we can make Jeb great again. Not that he never wasn't great. Oh, I don't have any commanders. Okay, great. We are mostly democratic at the moment, which may have to change. But we do control a lot of the United States to start off with, and I want it all. Well, I guess we'll have the Bush Science Institute, which I think we can all agree is going to gonna be a very, very, very successful thing. Wow. We can have Jeb do stuff, or we can die of boredom. This focus tree is certainly something. Uh, no, Jeb controls everything. We'll definitely have Jeb control everything. And we have two more research slots now. Thanks to the Bush Science Institute. We don't have any military staff though, which is slightly annoying. Uh, why isn't it in a straight line? What the- God damn Missouri. It's ruining my perfectly straight- wait a second. That's also not completely straight. Oh. Oh. Um, Jeb's commying out or uh, hail Bush. Okay, I think Jeb would like to hail Bush. That is a very quick alliance for France and Britain. We're still in 1936. Well, oh, fine, fine. So we can have Hitler as an idol or more like Chin Man. Okay, I'm going to become more like Chin Man. Which I presume, Mr. Hirohito, claps so loud that the US folds. Oh my. Giddy on! I've completed the national focus, and let's see if it worked. Oh my good lord. He's done it! Jeb Bush has done it. I guess I'll increase my manpower now. Wait. Why do I make everyone fight, and then I immediately lose all that manpower? What's the point in that? What's the point? Okay, so we got 20 million manpower, but I think I'm about to lose 19 million manpower. That... Uh, but we can support the Japanese, so we can get a war goal against China. Holy moly. Oh, God. What the heck is that? It's Führer Jeb. What the hell, Führer Jeb? Well, at least we can change it to partial mobilization now. Oh my god. <laughs> my country's cool, please clap. I've just said it. Ah, uh, yes. Please clap. Oh, okay. Japan did declare war. Let's prepare a surprise, shall we? Yes. So let's also declare war on China. Because why not? Oh, it appears Hitler wants us to join. I shall decline for now. I'm going to go on my own. But there are my brave divisions. The Jeb loyalists go to defeat China for no real apparent reason apart from just to, I don't know, spread please clap to 
China. Okay, Italian warfare. I just gain extra national unity, do I? Uh, okay. Not really sure how that works, but I'll, I'll take it. But let's go on the offensive, shall we? See if we can stick it to them. And it looks like we can. Please clap, shall rise. I think my divisions are doing a rather nice job. You know, where they're actually... Go oh, they are going, they are going. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Okie dokie. And it looks like with Jeb's forces, we are storming on in. I think we'll be really Chinese. I don't know why, but it gives me so much manpower and is in no way <laughs> offensive. Well, Jeb's ambitions is costing us quite a few men, but I think that's fine. I'm sure the Jeb loyalists don't mind giving their lives for the glory of Jeb. I am now really Chinese and have a 100 million manpower, so this... Oh my god, this mod is its probably the most overpowered mod I think I've played in my life. I've taken 300,000 casualties now, but it doesn't really matter because I still have 100 million manpower. That's just... Oh, good lord. It'd be hilarious if I still managed to lose, wouldn't it? Well, there we go. Oh, they've already taken all of that. Gosh damn it, Japan. I wanted some territory. Well, this is all I get for having really done quite a bit to help Japan. Stupid Japan. Poland actually ceded Danzig. Oh my god. What are you doing, Poland? This is pretty much border gore at its finest, isn't it? Sorry, not sorry. So I decided to go at war with the German Reich because there can be only one Führer. And that's Fuhrer Jeb. So, once they do around the Maginot, I intend to put all of my divisions into France. When when I'm allowed to, when they want me to join. Yes, there can be only one Fuhrer, and it shall be Fuhrer Jeb. I just need more divisions to hold down in uh, Italy, I guess. Because they appear to be getting absolutely cream crackered. Might be able to push against Germany, though. Wouldn't that be sweet? And yes, we'll join the Allies. Huzzah! Oh, they have made it through the... How have they made it through the Maginot? What is going on? Oh no. I'm down to 99.85 million manpower. Uh oh. Japan's about to declare war on me, but I decided to abandon that territory to try and take out the other members of the Axis. But uh, I'm kind of okay with that. I really don't care about capitulating Japan. It's really not on my radar. Seeing as I did uh, essentially ally with Hirohito earlier in the game. Wow. The French are quite incompetent. Ooh, that should help. Hopefully. Managed to stabilise the front down here. Not really sure how. And we're continuing to push into the Jeb Reich. Wait, no. The German Reich. <laughs> oh, got a bit confused there. And now we're pushing the Italians back. They appear to have completely wasted the vast majority of their equipment on just trying to break that little line that somehow France held with mostly my support, to be honest with you. <clears throat> I have taken over a million casualties, though. Oh, I'd say I'd worry about that, but I really don't need to. Oh, wow, now, would you look at that encirclement of the Italians. That calls for a very... Nice. And we're pretty much on a full advance against the Axis now. Which feels very nice indeed. Oh, the Soviets declared war on Romania, eh? Ah, but the Germans have capitulated. Now... There is only one true Führer. Jeb. Wow, they're actually holding. No, they're not. <laughs> oh, dear. What gloriousness is this, you wonder? Is this please clap? In control of Berlin and Rome. Truly, Jeb is an unstoppable force that can never be defeated. And on that note, the return of the Jeb is over. If you enjoyed seeing Jeb one last time, let me know in the comments below, leave a like and all that jazz, and it's tickety-boo from me. Tickety-boo? Does that... I don't know. That's... And it's toodaloo from me. Please clap. Many thanks to iSorry Productions, Shack Attack, Travis, Miss Lexicon, Adam, John, Blade, Ultimate, James, Logan, The Danimal, Mike, Zazzy, and Wyatt for being ridiculous random supporters on Patreon, and many thanks to all the other patrons too!